expanding brackets. I'm going to start just by showing you the type of question that this is about. The sort of question you'll see says expand 6 outside of x minus 3 in brackets. Now you know that when I've got a number outside brackets it means times and you know when I've got a sum inside brackets I should be doing that first but I can't do anything with this. Not like terms I can't do that. So expanding brackets is a way of simplifying an algebraic expression when there's brackets involved. Now I'm actually going to come back to this one once we've seen how this sort of question works. And we're going to look at it with just numbers as an example. So e.g. expand 6 outside of 10 minus 7. Now you can actually see that's pretty similar to this question. I've got a number outside the brackets and I've got a sum, a subtraction there inside the brackets. Just all I've done is I've made it easy so we've got numbers involved. Now you know order of operations that says we do the sum in the brackets first. So let's do it this way. That would be 6 times and do the sum. 10 minus 7 is 3. 10 take away 7, that's 3. And this at 6 outside says I've got to do 6 times this. So 6 times 3 is 18. But, then that's a sensible way of doing that. There is another way that we could do it that would get the same answer that's perfectly acceptable. And it's done by saying, I'm actually going to do 6 times the first thing in the bracket. And then I'm going to do 6 times the second thing in the bracket. And I'm going to write plus 6 times negative 7, because that's a negative 7 sitting there. 6 times 10 is 60, plus 6 times negative 7 is minus 42. I, should, I picked some dodgy numbers. I'll have to pick smaller numbers next time. 60 take away 42 is 18. We've got the same answer. Let me pick one that's got easier numbers. So we're going to do this two different ways. The first way is the sum in the brackets. So 8 plus 3 has to happen first. That's 11. This will be 2 times 11, which will be 22. But the other way that I want to show you also works is I'm going to do 2 times 8, so 2 times the first thing in the brackets, plus 2 times 3, 2 times the second thing in the brackets. 2 times 8 is 16, plus 2 times 3 is 6, 16 plus 6 is 22. I know this is a harder way of doing it, but it does get the same answer. What that shows us is I'm allowed to solve this either way. I am allowed to do the sum first and then just multiply or I'm allowed to do the thing outside times the first thing in the brackets plus the thing outside times the second thing in the brackets and I'll still get the same answer. And when I do the term outside multiplied separately by each of the terms inside the brackets that's called expanding. The law that says I'm allowed to do that, that says both of these get the same answer, is called the distributive law, but I don't need you to know that. It's useful if you do. So when they say expand 6 outside of x minus 3, I can't do anything with this sum, because these are not like terms. I can't solve that the first way by just doing the sum in the brackets. But I can simplify it by multiplying the thing out the front by the first term and the thing out the front by the second term. 
it's a good idea to use a little set of arrows to say, I'm going to do 6 times x. And you can go straight to the answer there because 6 times x is 6x. That's the thing outside times the first thing in the brackets. Then I'm going to do 6 times the whole thing there, negative 3. 6 times negative 3 is negative 18, so my simplified expanded answer is 6x minus 18. This is how expanding brackets works. Here's some questions that we might get. Expand these. And the method that I'm going to need you to follow is draw your arrow from the term outside to the first term and multiply those two together. 3 times x is 3x. Draw your arrow from the thing outside the front to the second term and multiply those together. 3 times 2 is 6 and because it's positive 6 we write a plus. 3 outside of x plus 2 equals 3x plus 6 when it's been expanded. Next question. 2 outside of 3m minus 1. Draw your arrow from the term outside the front to the first term in the brackets. 2 times 3m. That is 6m, which we know by learning to multiply algebraic terms. Draw your second arrow. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And so my expanded answer is 6m minus 2. Now I've got a term out the front that's algebraic. Same thing, 6x times x is 6x squared. You see we need to know our multiplication very well here. 6x times y is 6xy and it's positive, so I put a plus. Negatives get involved. Negative 3 outside of 4 minus x. We're going to multiply that whole negative 3 by 4. Negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. Negative 3 times negative x. Negative times a negative is positive. 3 times x is 3x. So your steps when you're expanding. When you see expand, this is what they want you to do. Multiply the term outside the brackets by each term in the brackets. And you have to pay attention oops, to the signs so you'll remember that we talked about if I see a negative that belongs to the number after it. This is a negative one in this situation. That's why I did 2 times negative 1 which gave me negative 2 and I get 6m minus 2.